Now, what would a James Bond film be without vodka martini, lots of gadgets, and most importantly, some high-speed car chases? Well, it looks like the latest movie in the franchise, No Time to Die, won't leave us disappointed. Oh, I am my God. so excited. We're so cool. uh, surrounded by uh, by Bonds and joined now by stuntwoman Jessica Hawkins, who actually performed some of those stunts, uh, as well as, obviously, we've got our guys here watching in the background. <laughs> so we feel very, very safe. Um, funnily enough, though, it's, it all started for you during a game of golf. Yeah, so I was really, really sporty as a child. Uh, my parents separated from since I can remember. So I used to go and spend every other weekend with my father. Um, we were playing golf this particular day. And in the distance was a little go-kart track and I didn't really know what it was. Um, my dad was reluctant to take me over there. Um, but we went over there and lucky enough for him, I was too small. The height restriction ah. was quite a lot towered above me. Um, never, we went back six months later. I hadn't grown much, but the height restriction had come down. <laughs> um, to his despair, actually. Yeah. Um, and I don't think either of us saw it becoming a career for me. And here I am, 18, and it 19 did. years but later. part of his reservation was because, uh, from his own experience, actually, that he knew that, you know, you may have the talent and ability, but if you haven't got the funds, sometimes that's what cuts your career short. Yeah, so I didn't know it at the time. He actually, I think he was mid-20s. He had a couple of years racing and he had to stop because of he just couldn't get the funding to continue. And it's no secret that motorsport is extremely expensive. And But, yeah, um, <laughs> he didn't expect me to be where I am, neither yeah. did I, and it went from a hobby to a career. Yeah, and, and, uh, and a very successful career. I mean, you are very good <laughs> at it. Uh, but um, but it's, a, it's a jump from... Well, I mean, not a massive jump, but certainly a career jump. Uh, from being in a in, when you're in the W League, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But um, but from doing that to then turning it into a stunt career, mm. um, because the one thing you don't want to be doing when you're driving at great speed is crashing into things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But this is this is you know in, in absolutely what you've got to do. Yeah. So uh, I've had such a strange career route, and it was only because. I had run out of funding to go racing that I kind of fell into the stunt world and it was a friend of mine tagged me in a Facebook post that originally got me my first job. Obviously, I had an audition, but... Um, and it was ever since that, that kind of then led to meeting a few people who then introduced me to the Bond stunt coordinator, Lee Morrison, and that's how I got the Bond job. Um, and then it's all kind of snowballed from there. So whilst the stunt driving was never my original plan, it turned into a career that I love so much. Um, but, yeah, I'm back racing, it, racing it again now. So, so you're I'm, able to do both yeah. things alongside one another, which is fantastic. But being involved in Bond, I mean, it was your first movie, so this is huge to step on a, onto a Bond set. How do those days work? Because filming's expensive. I imagine you don't get to do hundreds and hundreds and takes. You haven't got hundreds and hundreds of cars to destroy. So how does it work? Do you have to rehearse before? How does it all work? Yeah, so we rehearsed. We did a lot of rehearsing in the UK. Um, so we kind of set up the scene as it would be on location um, to minimise the time that we have on location because, you know, it, it's still, we, they're, they're used as places. Yeah. Um, so we set them out and we do a lot of rehearsing there and that there's a lot of planning involved and whilst, you know, we're pushing the cast to their extreme, um, it's, a, it's a big scene and it's a big movie. Being a Bond movie, everybody expects bigger, better stunts yeah. than the movie yeah. before. So we, and we have to deliver. Well, you've done, uh, you've done a lot of stuff um, on this movie which you can't talk about. <laughs> Uh, but the one that you can talk about is the Defender scene. Yes. Um, and they, you know, they're the new Defender just off the production line. Uh, and that's the great thing about uh, the Bond films is always the, you know, the best cars. Uh, but uh, but so explain what you had to do here. Yeah, as you said, you have to use the best cars and being a Bond movie, it, it has to. So here <laughs> you can see. So I was the middle car in the big uh, three jump. Um, I remember the first time that I actually was heading towards the ramp and it was only then where I kind of realised, oh, my God, what am I doing? Um, because you just see sky for a bit. Yep, yep. So and you know you've got to land. I know, yeah. All I could see was an extremely, extremely grey-looking sky. Couldn't see any floor. And I was anticipating an incredibly painful, heavy hit. And testament to the cars um, and all of the planning ar around me, not one of them hurt. We did it kind wow. of eight times. We. 85 feet we flew and we were 12 foot in the air so yeah big that's incredible yeah I and, know. but also like you say you know you put the cars through their paces and they are incredible machines but there must come that time when the cars get destroyed that's the nature of the job and that must be quite tough to see these beautiful cars kind of 
written off. And... Yeah. Well, you wouldn't want them second hand, that's for sure, would no, you? No, you wouldn't. You, you wouldn't. would, though. You would, though, because it's a bomb car. True. You, <laughs> you would. would. What am I saying? <laughs> so once you've done once you've done that, and this is a massive movie, we've waited such a long time for it. Um, do you are you straight on to a, a, the next movie? Yeah, I mean, it very much depends. Obviously, we've we've had the pandemic, and it's been kind of slow for me, to be honest, over the last while. Um, but it's definitely starting to pick back up now. I did a couple of movies after after Bond and hopefully starting a new one in the new year. But at the moment, the W series is keeping me very busy. So tell us about that, because this is, extra this is really what you needed at the start of your racing career, wasn't it? Because what they do is that they kind of take the problem of funding away. Yeah, so genuinely, I, I would not be racing without W Series. It's the, it's the first all-female single-seater racing series, and we follow Formula One. That then obviously led to my partnership with Aston Martin form, Cognizant Formula One team. So, you know, uh, so many doors have been open for me, and genuinely, I wouldn't be racing without them. Well, I'm a massive F1 fan, um, and it's great to see, as you say, that there, there is a partnership now with W Series and with F1. Um, and so you're following the calendar? Yeah, so W Series first started in 2019. That was its original sit, uh, its debut year as such. And we were racing on the DTM package, which is a big European series. Um, and it did such a good job that there was only one place for W Series to go, and that's at the mm -hmm. pinnacle of motorsport. And we're racing alongside, you know, the day before the Formula One race, and it's crazy. Yeah. I gen I can't believe it. I still can't believe it's happened. What do your... Uh... What do you folks think, then? Because, I mean, obviously, you're... The stunts, that's a, an entirely different thing. Yeah. The racing, you've, you've got to be superhuman to, to do that as well. What do they worry most about? My parents. Oh, yeah. God, anything. As soon as I step out the door, do they, they worry. <laughs> um, I try to downplay, especially with the stunts, I try to downplay what it is that I'm doing until... And it's not until they see it or it comes out that, that they ring me and they're like... Oh. What did you do yes, that yeah. Is that you? Oh, God. <laughs> I try and downplay it so they don't worry too much. And what oh, about well the racing? Done. They can't actually watch my racing. They can't? They don't, no, they don't. I think my mum will flip back and forwards to live timing, but I don't think either of them are able to watch it live. Yeah. Now, now is surprised. the time, I would have thought, now is the time for, for, for young girls, uh, for women, uh, to, to, to look at it and think, this is now possible now. Yep. There are no boundaries here. Yep. Get in, it's a great career. Definitely, and I think it's becoming more and more accepted, you know, females within the sport. And I can remember when I first started, maybe two other females um, racing, and there are so many more now, and not just drivers, you know, mechanics, engineers, strategists, um, so there's so many, and it's amazing to see. And I really do think that W Series have been the driving force no, well done. against that. So. So nice to meet you. We all can't Thank wait you. to watch the movie. That's Thank so, you we'll so be much. looking for the car in the middle in the Defender three car jump. We'll be like, yeah. yes, she is. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.